Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the alternator on this 2004 uh, Nissan Murano. Well, I'm not gonna show you exactly all the whole the whole thing, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the idea, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how, step by step how you can take take this off. I already have it in place. The alternator. This is the brand new one. All right. So first thing you gotta do, guys, over here, is take the cover off. This plastic um, cover. What is it? So those little pieces, you know, from the side, they're all like plastic clips, like this one. All you gotta do is grab the screwdriver and pull them out. So very easy, very simple. Where's the other stuff? All right, I don't know what is it, but if you have a 2000 and between 2002 to 2007, you're gonna you're gonna see uh, like what I'm talking about. So the plastic thing needs to needs to be off, and then you have to take off the battery. You have to take out the battery, uh, which goes over here. If you see, I got a battery disconnect and all that stuff. This thing goes over here. All you gotta do is like a gravel, like a screwdriver or something, and just uh, pick on this, this little things, like this, and then pull them out. Uh, but yeah, all right. Um, and then you're gonna see the, uh, you're gonna see this white plate over here. You're gonna see it like, you know, what? just move this away. You're gonna see this plate like this. All right, you gotta, you gotta remove that, and then you're gonna see like three bolts. They're like one, two, three. They're 12 millimeters. You're gonna take that. You're gonna take those off. Those off, and then you're gonna pull this out like this. Try to like what I did. Um, you see a screwdriver like this. Like this, I'll show you real quick to keep it away. Something like that. That's what I do. All right. Next step, guys, over here, we have to remove two bolts from over here. One, one on this, one on this side, one on this side, because we had to remove the uh, the fans. This ones, we have to remove them. This guys. Um, it's very easy. All we gotta do is disconnect, uh, disconnect them from here, here, and that's it. And here's the um, here's the connections. All we gotta do, as soon as you take this off, this bolt, and disconnect the red uh, the uh, holes from the the motor to the radiator. Uh, I got the thing radiator. So we have to disconnect it. Excuse my English. Um, we have to um, disconnect this and then you're gonna have enough space to take the fan off from out from over here just be very careful with this little thing okay um, disconnect the, I just I disconnected too um, so yeah we have to be, be very careful with this thing and then uh, then what else I do? Uh, this thing I disconnected from here because it was in my room uh, when I put the uh, the um, the socket, a 12 millimeter socket, which uh, goes on this bolt up here. If you see my finger, this is uh, here is a 12 millimeter the, the, it, that is holding the alternator from up here. Uh, so I disconnect this thing okay so as soon as you got this um, disconnect um, I think that's it from over here all right yeah that's it and then you gotta go over here you're gonna check you're gonna take off the wheel and then a shield there's a shield over here plastic shield to protect the um, belt over here but whatever um, as soon as you remove the shield you're gonna see you're gonna have 
Um, you're gonna you're gonna see the belt over here, separate chain belt. So what you gotta do over here, it's very very simple. But if you don't know, you're gonna get you're gonna get crazy, cause uh, if you're gonna lose this now, this is 14 millimeters. You have to lose it. Just um, don't take it off all the way. Just lose it, you know. Like, and then this thing is not gonna move. It's gonna feel tight. You're, you're not gonna you're not gonna feel this this thing moves because as soon as you got the bolt off not off loose loose just loose you're gonna go up here and then there's a bolt there's a 14 millimeter what is it what is it what is it it's over here this thing you have to lose it All right, so we have to lose the bolt. Not not all the way. You're gonna um, soon as you start moving the soon as you start moving. What is it? What is it? What is it? Let me see. What is it? It's right over here. That's a 14 millimeter. You gotta use a like a um, um, university joint or whatever to together and lose it. And long extension like 12 inches long extension. All right, and then you're gonna you're gonna see when the um, there's a this pulley falls down, and then uh, the bell is gonna it's gonna be loose. All right, um, so we're good. You're gonna you're gonna take it off, and you're gonna take it off. You're gonna take off your your belt, and then you're gonna go up here. You're gonna lose the bolt. So this one up here, which is uh, 12 millimeters with a long, long extension. Let me show you right now. Long, long extension. What is, what is my bolt? Uh, I got it right here. So this is what I did. <clears throat> Let's see. These are like 24 inches long, probably more. I don't know goes from the from my alternator all the way through here because uh, if you see because over here you have a lot of room like to like use your ratchet that's um, that's the thing okay so as soon as you get that loose or you want to take it off whatever you want you gonna all right you gonna go oh one more thing you gotta take this off. You gotta take this off. I don't know if it's loose or not. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, it is loose. All right, I'm gonna show you real quick. Real quick, behind this pulley, this pulley, you're gonna see long, long bolt. All right. So the the way I I took it off, I'm gonna put it on the floor because I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put it the same because there's like things like a little washer or so whatever so I'm not gonna all right and then you're gonna set this this bolt this knot over here you're gonna take this off this is 14 millimeter okay you're gonna take this off and then you're gonna push this thing that way that way okay it's not hard it's just it's very easy, all right. As soon as you, you're not, you're not gonna put a lot of pressure, honestly. So you're gonna push it that way, and then you're gonna go under. Over here, you're gonna see the exhaust and the um, this sensor, oxygen sensor, and then you're gonna put your hand like this, and you're gonna reach the bolt. It's like over here you're gonna you're gonna push it and then yeah you can see it's it's over here right but it's I'm about to touch it with my finger but you're gonna you're gonna see 
If not, if you hit like uh, I don't know, my hands are skinny. So if you're gonna use the pliers to grab it or whatever, or a screwdriver, uh, I don't know, maybe like you can go like this way with the uh, pry bar or whatever. But it's very, very easy. All right, so to put it, as soon as you take, you take this off, now you're gonna, you're gonna have, take this off and take the other one off, you're gonna have access to, you're gonna go up here and then you're gonna like, it's gonna be all loose. So you're gonna drop it down over here. You're gonna like squeeze the um, this holes. They're, they're very flexible. The all this holes over here. So don't worry about it. Just be very careful. I mean, don't go like hard. You know, like be careful. But yeah, it um, they're very flexible. You, so you're gonna drop it over here, and you're gonna come like this way. You know, with your alternator, you can. You're gonna play with that a little bit, you know, twist it and but yeah, it's um yeah so uh, you're gonna go this way and right over here you're gonna you're gonna check it off. Alright? To put the new one at the same process guy, you're gonna go this way, put it in place, and what I did, this is a very good trick because I play with this this uh alternator like I was trying to put it in for like 15 minutes but I had an idea so I went I went like this I put my feet under here and there's a motor mount oh what I dropped oh my screwdriver and there's motor mount and then I went I moved this holes a little bit to see uh, to have access to see the um, the hole you know because it's a little tight over here there's no way that you can you can see so the um, the idea is put your uh, your left hand over here under the alternator make it even with the hole the hole the bracket hole in the alternator make it even and then with the screwdriver and long extension like you're gonna be holding it uh, with your left hand and with your right hand you're gonna go you're gonna be twisting you're gonna to you're gonna be twisted the tight uh, like trying to tie them up you know like and that, it was it was super easy yeah I was I was um I was trying different ways and that was the only way I can I can I can make I mean I, I did it I did it and it was really really easy so mm, that one was um don't tie them all the way because you have to go you have to go over here again and put it like even with the hole over here from the, uh, the alternator with the with the motor put the put the holes even and throw like a screwdriver or whatever you have i put this uh there's a bolt over here to hold it in place and then i went under under and the same way i took the 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 bolt off i put it in so it was super super easy i i tied it it's already tied so all right that was the only way i find i found so now everything is the same process man uh, guys put everything back the same you, you take it off um the pulley uh, to tie the belt all you gotta do is put the belt the, the pulley the belt tie the the knot a little bit and not too not too tight i mean yeah not too tight and then go upstairs and tie the bolt tie the bolt and then you're gonna feel that the, the tight over here you're gonna feel when when your belt at uh, it's tight because the bolt is gonna you're gonna feel the resistance so all right guys so that's it uh, I think that's it basically so very very simple I mean it's kind of tricky um, yeah it's hard took me like maybe like two hours to replace the alternator but finally I did it 
All right, um, so all I'm gonna do right now is tie this, put the belt on, put the poly, and that's it. Put the battery back, the fan back. So very simple, guys. All right, so I hope you I hope you like this video. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe for more good videos like like this one. So all right, and then I see you at the next one.